Hi guys, so today I have this set from Die Impress called Get Well Soon. It's a Stampin' Die set. Um, it is now available on HSN and let's just check it out. So they did send this item free of charge from my review and of course all opinions are my own and any links down in the description box will be affiliate links which means I'll make a small commission for your purchase items through those links. Uh, so let me try to pop this open and let's see what we have here. I'm planning on using the backgrounds that I made in the previous video, the stencil, the eyelet lace stencil kit, so um, I think that'll work out really well. Oh my goodness! I love the size of these. Hold on. Let's get these things going. The little band-aids are so cute. Oh my gosh. <laughs> So uh, we have the words, well, let's look at the inspo sheet. So we have, you know, feel better. Uh, I can see that as sentiments. Oh, okay. That's what I was looking at. Um, this one, I don't know. I thought it was a clipboard, but it's, uh, it's a tissue box. <laughs> That's so cute. Look at, oh my gosh. And then it has little tissues. Oh my goodness. Okay. So we have the thermometer. These are stamps and then they're showing you like, obviously you can die cut it out. So die cut stamp. Um, generally I stamp and then I die cut. But uh, So they have the tissue, your little thermometer, the words get well soon, and they also have a die which is really nice. Uh, the little like medicine bottle there. Um, and then you have the little plus sign that you can put on the medicine bottle. So the jar itself has the lid, the jar, and then like your um, little like sign for medicine kind of thing on there. You have your little smaller band-aid, you have a larger band-aid. Um, the larger band-aid looks like it's a die, right? Yes, and it gives the impression here. And then the smaller one um, has a stamp that goes with it, so slightly different on those two. Um, a little pill, so if you take the base and then this top one, you can make something that looks like that. And then there's a heart band-aid, which is super cute, which also is just the die, it's right here. And it has like embossing and everything for that band-aid look. Um, the little stethoscope with the heart that is adorable. The little kind of like heart monitor lines. You have a heart here. Um, another another band-aid? Maybe I'm seeing that wrong. Oh, okay. Well, hmm. Okay. You have this one that I suppose cuts the stamp. That's what it is. It's this shape with the stamp and then these two guys do their own thing. Okay. So there's three band-aids plus the heart band-aid. <laughs> so four. Feel better. You have ouch. Hope you're on the mend. Feel better soon. Wishing you a speedy recovery and all kinds of things like that. Um, I'm here if you need anything. Even the little pill if you want to just stamp it. Uh, you have that too. Um, and then the heart with the little line. Oh that's so cute. So that's another idea of how to put that guy together. But we have like a um, slimline card kind of um, inspo and then like the little band-aids. Wishing you a speedy recovery. How cute is that? Oh my goodness. Okay, so let's check out the stamps themselves. So you have like for a pattern for your tissue box if you like. Obviously other the sentiments and then you have your thermometer. Again we have that um, little motif with the heart and the little lines. You have some little hearts that you can just stamp here and there. You know some of these are like the medicine one, the little pill and those kinds of things to get well soon that has the dye that goes with it. And then the other dyes that you saw. That uh, is adorable. I think today's video is going to be pretty quick because I'm um, just going to use the background I already have. Um, let's see here. I have a card base ready to go. So uh, these are eight and a half by five and a half scored at four and a quarter. I sat down a couple days ago and just created a bunch of card bases because I was out of like card bases that are just ready to go. So um, again, just an A2 size piece of paper cut at five and a half inches. And then when you score each one at four and a quarter, you have a standard A2 size card. Um, and that's that. Uh, so I have these guys ready to go. And I'm thinking for this, I mean, the heart's really cute. Oh, hmm, with the red and everything. Um, I was gonna save this one for something else. Maybe this little guy? A little soft background. Cute. Okay, so I'm gonna trim this down though um, to four and a quarter by f four and an eighth, sorry, by five and a half. As you can see right now, it's completely a topper, and that's great, but I like to have a little bit of edge. So I'm just gonna take this to my guillotine, or yeah, to my trimmer basically and take a little bit off of um, two sides here at the top and the bottom and make it a little bit smaller. I'll be right back. That trim. Just going to glue that down. Just pop some glue in it. Actually, let's use a tape runner. I've been trying to use a tape runner a little more often. I think the reason I had put those to the side is because with a tape runner, once you're there, um, you're pretty much committed. So <laughs> you have to be really good at eyeballing the first time. So I just kind of hold it up with like keep my fingers underneath here so it keeps it away from your paper until you get to where you think you want to be, possibly. And then yeah, it's stuck down really quickly, but 
there's no uh, play time in that, but there you go. Okay, so let me grab some papers for the rest of our card, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I think I'm going to go with the tissue box, and, you know, along with that, generally, I don't know if Band-Aids really go with those kind of things, though I love the Band-Aids and I want to try them out, but maybe for another video. So, for right now, I'm going to grab just this coral kind of cardstock, and I'll do the stamping first, and then I'll go ahead and cut that out and then for the tissue I just have a white scrap of paper. I was thinking about vellum but I thought well tissue is not really see-through is it that kind of tissue so um, that's okay but if you want to step it up that'd be really fun. Um, okay so let's put that there. Let me put another piece of tape. And I'm going to do like a tone on tone on this kind of thing so I'm gonna put this here just to give myself some room for the dye just in case. And I'll move some of these guys. And from this kit, I'm just going to grab this guy. I want to say this kit came from the Mixed Media Today special, possibly. And from a little while back. And I'm probably going to snap this a couple times because the pink is, um, you know, first of all, it's tone on tone, but also it's kind of a soft color. I'm really pushing. Oh, that's so sweet and soft. Um, and also, let me keep that there. <laughs> um, it's very soft pink that I'm choosing. <laughs> so I just want like a whisper of detail on that one. Again, these are acrylic stamps, so push, but don't push too, too hard. Like you saw me, what I was doing, and I know it's probably hard to see the color, but there it is. How cute. And if you really want to do a third coat, you can definitely do that. So I'm gonna do one more. All right. Super cute. And that'll go really nice with my background. And then this guy, I just want to stamp the tissue. Take that. Actually, well, I have my little chamois that I'll just wipe that down with. Um, let's see here. So yeah, I was thinking if I use the tissue, it's like, does that involve band-aids? Not normally. Maybe the little medicine bottle or something like that. But either way, uh, for now, I'm going to focus on this. See how much you know space this guy takes, and then I'll plan on the sentiment and the other things. And I'm just gonna stamp with black. Is super crisp, really nice. Again, not all acrylic stamps are created equal. I know some are better quality than others, and Diamond Press has great quality acrylic. Um, there you go. Uh, okay, let me clean up a little bit, and we'll cut these guys out, and then we'll see where we want to go from there. Okay. And let's see here. I might go ahead and cut an aperture for this, but you know. You can see pretty well that there's no stamping there, which is the case here, and then probably the edges, but I don't know if I'm really good, you know, on it left and right, so let me grab a paper and show you what I mean, what I mean by that. You know, this little guy. Then I can probably see pretty well where that's going to cut, but for the box, let's... Is this big enough? Ooh, that's right on there. Okay. No, that's going to be too small. Let's grab another paper. Okay. Just get yourself a little piece of scrap paper. And I use this color all the time, so I won't be missing this. Leave yourself a good amount of space there. Obviously, I'm going to trim this guy down. And you know, I was remiss in mentioning that the kit also comes with a refill folder for the marquee, which Dime Press always does. And that, again, is for your marquee if you use that system. And if not, you know, you can just put that to the side for something else. But um, some people here have told me that they use theirs for uh, keeping their instructions nice. Like, they'll just pop it in whatever, wherever they put it, and just kind of keep this inside like that. You know, something to think about. Okay, let's grab my machine. I'm just going to use one that's well loved, been used before, just to show you that they can get warped and funky and they will continue cutting for very many, 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 many cuts. 
Um, so what I do is I hinge that. So um, I put the tape on one side. Wherever your die has like a nice side, even if it's a little bit, just try to pick a side that you think would be easiest. Look how cute the detail on that is. And then you just bring over the one you do want to cut. Flip this up a little bit. Don't remove it. Just flip it up a little bit. And then you can see where you're going to cut. And if that's good for you, then you just roll it through. I'm just kind of looking at the dots and kind of where they're at. Maybe there. And then I always put an extra piece of tape to hold the paper that you're cutting to hold the die in place. And run that through again. And generally you have a pretty good idea of where you're cutting at that point. So I may or may not do the same thing for the tissue, but I have a feeling I can just cut that guy out with eyeballing it and look at that. Perfect dots. Everything's good to go. I'm going to cut this guy out and I'll be right back. Okay. And I just eyeballed that one. So good to go. And let's bring our card back. So, oh my gosh, how cute. I love the colors of everything. And this little guy can pop in here. It's meant to look like it's coming out of the box. I wanted to see if it fits this way also because I was wondering that maybe I want to do it this way and have my sentiment over here. That's so cute. Okay, well, you know, let's go that way. And if I'm going to do that, what I'm going to do is also cut out... Oh, I love the set scope. Everything on here is so cute. Um, I was going to go ahead and cut out one of the little bottles, I think. So let's do that. Oh, how cute that was. Look at that. If you did the bottle and maybe just made your own label with a little heart on it. <gasps> That'd be cute. Huh? Okay, so we have that. And then we need the lid. And I think that one just required those two things, right? And then the stamp for that centerpiece. This one. So that guy, that guy, and then this guy. And let me go ahead and get something to stamp this. So I'll probably very much make it the same with the white bottle and like a red lid because that's just classic, right? Um, and maybe what if a kind of a light blue, something that brings the background back out and um, the stamping in black or something. So I will be right back. Okay. So these are the colors I chose here. I have this pearlescent white, which I thought would be cute just to make the bottle a little more fun. So I have that guy. And then the red, I'm just going to cut from this. All right. A little tape on those if necessary, just to keep it held down. And then I have this light blue that I think I can just stamp with the little bit here. There we go. And some black ink. stamp. Just making sure it's making contact before I lift that up. Looking great. Put that back on my carrier there. And let's see. I mean, as I look at this, I can kind of see the edges of the ink, you know, if I look that way and this way and this way, I can move it down a little more that way and just about here, kind of looking at where I'm seeing ink where I'm not. And that looks pretty even right there. That looks good. So I will tape that down and run that through. So I'll be right back. Run them through all at the same time. Cute. Okay. And we'll just glue that little guy together. We'll glue up here. Put our little lid on. <laughs> so cute, and the lid has like little embossing detail. I don't know if you can see it there, hopefully. And this little guy. And you saw on that one to not make an aperture. I just kind of was looking at the die and seeing, okay, I could see a lot of ink. I couldn't see any ink down here. So I moved it down to see if I can see some of the ink. And that's kind of how I eyeballed it to place it. And that worked out pretty well. Um, left and right, up and down. Okay, I'm going to let that set up. 
And I think I'm going to use the words uh, feel better from the dies here. So what I'm going to do is cut them out of gold paper just so it really pops and is really cute. But I'm also going to cut them from white paper twice so that I can build up my little words and they'll be nice and high. So twice out of white paper, once out of gold paper, and I'll be right back. So I have my little sentiments cut out and try to drop those out, but I'll spare you guys <laughs> banging this on my counter on my table, which is what I like, and then they just pop out. But we'll just do this. Hit some of the ejector buttons, and there we go. Okay, so um, with these guys, they're kind of a fancy little font. So what I'm going to do is, look how pretty. So take like my better, just dip, 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 and a little glue, and then take this guy and start on one side and kind of layer it up nicely so that they're just right where they need to be. So that gives it a little strength, a little height basically is what I'm looking for. And then we'll do it again at the back of this guy with some glue. And the next better. <laughs> And I'll do the same thing with the feel. And that just gives our lettering some height without putting dimensionals behind there. Okay. Next time I probably just start with the white and then top off with the gold so I don't put too much glue all over my gold, but you can just wipe that off. And just make sure they match up. There you go. I'll do the same thing with feel. Uh, let's bring all these back and let me wipe the glue off the back of my hand. Actually, I'll probably need more anyway when I go to put my sentiments on. But we're gonna have this little guy. I haven't glued anything like with the tissue or anything like that. And then this little guy here. And then our feel better like over here. Now you can, oh, you know, maybe I'll do something like that just so that it kind of comes together. That looks really cute. So let's go with that. <laughs> I'm just going to put some glue here. Um, you know what? Let's put some dimensionals on the back of this guy. Maybe some higher dimensionals that I'll use on my little pill bottle. So at the very top, I'm going to have a couple dimensionals. And then some glue down in here. So let's just go somewhere like here. Ish. and tuck this in. So I have dimensionals at the very top. A little glue. I'm going to put that up as high as I can before it goes off the edge of my card. So I'll hold that down for a little bit. We have that stenciled background that we want to make sure we're holding down. On this guy I'm going to put some lower profile dimensionals just all over the back so it'll just kind of pop up over this. Or even that you can you know glue it here and then pop it up here. I'm just going to pop the whole thing up. So I'll be right back. Okay. And we got that. And I'll just pop him right there. Looks super cute. And then again, the feel better, which I'll just put some glue on the back there. I'm going to put feel here. Hold that down. And then better, I can see I have a little glue on here, so I'd rather clean that off before I move on. Once it dries on a surface like this, that shiny kind of surface, you can just like wipe it off. Um, if it's wet and you have glue on there and you keep spreading it, if you keep trying to wipe it at that time, so you can just wait. And if you still need to like moisten whatever you use to clean it off, you can do that. Just a little bit of water will help you clean right up after it's dried. Okay, I'm going to hold that down and I'll show you what this looks like. You guys, look how cute this is. And then again, just pulling, you know, if you have backgrounds already made, you know, you can coordinate with them, or if you already have in mind like something that you're going to be doing, you know, the color palette you like to work in, you know. But I love that that was already ready for me, and I was like, oh, let me just bring some of those colors forward. And so we have the little coral tissue box, the little tissue that has its dimension. You have your little um, pill bottle. I think this set is so cute because it has a really nice combination of just die cutting and a little stamping and die cutting if you like that too. So uh, really fun, and there it is. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I'll have images coming up. I'll have the links in the description box. Thank you so much, Diane Press, for sending these items for review. And I'll see you all at the next one. Bye now.